<laughs> okay. Uh, hello, Loveland. I'm here at the uh, Loveland Life Food Pantry. Uh, on this Saturday morning, we're kind of dodging rain and a little bit of wind, but everything seems to be going okay. And I'm here with Terry Carter, the president of the pantry, mm -hmm. and uh, Carolina Maurer, mm -hmm. who is heading up the back to school backpack drive, school supply drive. So, uh, Terry, why don't you tell, tell us more about what's going on, tell us more about Carolina, and uh, you made some comments a few minutes ago <laughs> about how she's really an organizer. Carolina thinks very differently than I do. I, I, we were talking earlier that you look at the, the, the size of a program like this, getting all the school supplies together, um, getting the backpacks, we have so much support from the community, which Carolina can talk to that point. Um, but you know, I'm just looking at it thinking, oh my gosh, this is such a huge thing. And she's already like, not a problem, got it. <laughs> she has the plan long before I, I would even get there. So she, uh, she takes care of our big thinking <laughs> when it comes to things like this. Well, um, while I still got you with the microphone, tell us why you feel this is a really important program. For a number of reasons, um, not only, I mean, who doesn't remember being a kid and you get the fresh box of crayons and you get the fresh pencils oh, yeah. and it's it's a new start it's a new year it's a new backpack filled with supplies so that every kid even kids who come from families that need a little extra help they 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 get they get that fresh start and carolina arranges so we also have spirit wear for the loveland schools so that you know it's like no child left behind uh -huh. literally and and like I say, Carolina can talk more about what all is included, but it really, it, it gives those kids a, a fresh start to a fresh year and hopefully that mindset can help them get a good start. Yeah, it also frees up cash for the parents. Absolutely. So they can spend money on utilities Absolutely. and things like that. Any, and food any parent right now. knows how expensive this stuff is. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So, uh, Carolina, you're going to make this as easy as ABCs, right? <laughs> well, that's, that's the idea. And we have been doing this for 11 years. And this year is the first year I'm doing it. And we are changing things a little bit. We are not going to have a big event. We're just having the pantry clients come in, register, and they, they will receive their backpacks. But the other thing that they're going to get in September, we are going to give them free shoes, um, uh, t-shirt that says Loveland. We're working with RP Diamond on uh -huh. that. Um, personal care items and socks and underwear. So we really want our kids to go back to school like with dignity, with new yeah. things, and to be just the same as all the other kids. Uh -huh. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. How, how many uh, students do you think you will uh, give a backpack to? How many did you last year, do you remember? Last year we did 97, but it was a it was a little bit off because of COVID. Right. Um, we're planning on 125. Okay. Although with Loveland, the community is so generous that we have enough even if more come. So that is the beautiful thing about being here is that it doesn't matter what program we do. Mm -hmm. I never have a doubt that we will receive everything we need. It's, it's beautiful. So speaking of making it easy as ABC, <laughs> yeah. how do the people that are that are watching mm -hmm. contribute and help you? Well, if you go to our website, there is a link to our Amazon wish list, and okay. and many people have have chosen to do that. Um, but we also have a few organizations like. Um, St. Columban, like St. Columban Community, um, United Methodist Church, Epiphany. the Presbyterian, mm -hmm. Epiphany, um, and then a, couple, a, a very uh, Harper's Point Tennis Club. They have been super generous. Oh, really? Good. Yes, awesome. And then there's a Coldwell Banker um, office that is going to help us as well. So most, like really, all the backpacks we have received have been full with the supplies they need. And then on top of that, we're also getting donations of, of supplies by themselves. So what we're going to do is we, this is going to be new this year. We are going to also have supplies here as if we were a, like a store. So then once the kids go to school and the teachers ask for specific things, 
-hmm. our clients will not have to go buy them. They can just come and get them here for free. So that's why anything we receive gets put to good use. Um, oh, I had a question in my head. Oh, uh, the donation box over here. Can people mm -hmm. during off hours come and leave book pack, backpacks and supplies? Anything, yes. Um, right now we, we are also looking for donations of personal care items like deodorant or, sh or shaving cream or razors or shampoo because that will go in the other, in the other uh, giveaway. But this box is good for any donations that are not perishable. So yes. <laughs> whether it's food or it's school supplies or personal care items, anything can go in there when we're closed. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. And uh, I'm gonna put the, the links you'll need in this story, so don't worry about that. So you'll be able to click and find the wish list, I think mm -hmm. you said, and uh, the location of the pantry and everything. It's really convenient, that's why it's here now. It's so convenient to everybody. It's, uh, What's the name of this? Is Shopper Haven? Mm -hmm. We're uh, right next to the B and B. Yeah, and the, li <laughs> so the library is just it. down here. So I uh, hope you guys will help us out here, and uh, thank you two so much. Thank you for doing the interview and for doing this program. It's really important. It's our pleasure. Well, thanks for your support. You're Appreciate welcome. it.